Ruth Rendell's short story, The Girl Next Door, is a captivating tale of the complex and layered relationships between a group of neighbors. The story is set in a typical English suburb and follows the lives of two families who live next door to each other. The narrative is told from the perspective of the protagonist, Arthur Johnson, an elderly man who reflects on his childhood memories of his neighbors. The story begins with Arthur describing his childhood experiences of playing with his neighbor, Veronica, whom he affectionately calls V. V is described as a pretty and charming girl, but she is also portrayed as selfish and manipulative. Arthur remembers how V would always get her way and how she would often bully him into doing things for her. Despite this, Arthur remained infatuated with V, and the two shared a close bond. As the story progresses, we learn that V's mother, Mrs. Forbes, is a bitter and resentful woman who despises her husband and resents the fact that she is stuck in a loveless marriage. Mrs. Forbes is also resentful of Arthur's mother, who she sees as a rival for her husband's affections. These feelings of resentment eventually spill over into Mrs. Forbes' treatment of V, who she sees as a tool to manipulate her husband. One day, V's father, Mr. Forbes, goes missing, and the entire neighborhood is thrown into a frenzy. Arthur remembers how everyone was speculating about what could have happened to Mr. Forbes, and how V was inconsolable. However, it soon becomes clear that Mrs. Forbes had something to do with her husband's disappearance. She is arrested and sent to prison, leaving V to fend for herself. The story then fast-forwards to the present, where we see Arthur as an old man, reflecting on his past. He learns that V has grown up to be a successful and wealthy woman, but her success has come at a great cost. V is described as cold and distant, and Arthur wonders if her childhood experiences have contributed to her personality. One of the most striking aspects of Rendell's story is her ability to create complex and nuanced characters. Each character is given a distinct personality, and their motivations and actions are rooted in their unique circumstances. For example, Mrs. Forbes' bitter resentment is not just the result of her husband's infidelity, but is also a product of her own frustrations and insecurities. Similarly, V's manipulative behavior is not just a result of her selfishness, but is also a response to her mother's emotional abuse. Another notable aspect of the story is its exploration of the consequences of one's actions. Mrs. Forbes' decision to kill her husband has far-reaching consequences, not just for herself, but also for V and the rest of the neighborhood. These childhood experiences have also had a lasting impact on her personality and behavior. These consequences serve as a reminder that our actions, no matter how small, can have significant and long-lasting effects on those around us. In conclusion, Ruth Rendell's The Girl Next Door is a masterfully crafted short story that explores the complexities of human relationships and the consequences of our actions. Through her vivid and nuanced characters, Rendell draws us into a world of secrets, betrayals, and unexpected twists. The story is a testament to Rendell's skill as a storyteller and her ability to create vivid and engaging narratives that leave a lasting impression on the reader.